For years now, OneNote has been my go-to for synchronized note-taking. It's where I keep all of my to-do lists, recipes, YouTube video ideas, favorite quotes, and things of that nature. Since 2014, when I signed up, it has become an integral part of my everyday life that I honestly don't know if I could live without. And yet, I just dumped it for the little elephant that started it all, Evernote. So today, let's take a look at why and see how the two compare. So without further ado, let's get to it. Going back to 2014, I was an avid Windows Phone fan, which meant I had a Microsoft account, which meant I could start using OneNote right away. It wasn't something that revolutionized my life overnight, but after a while, I gradually started using it more and more, and up until a few months ago, I rarely went a day without opening it. I didn't really choose it, it's just what I fell into using, and it worked great. Until it didn't, but now I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's start with what's great about OneNote. First and foremost, OneNote has free, nearly unlimited notes. Seriously, as long as you've got OneDrive space, you can take as many notes as you can possibly write, add photos, add tables, write or draw with a stylus, and have all of the notes synced across an unlimited number of devices where they're accessible even if you're offline. Evernote, on the other hand, limits free users to uploading 60 megabytes of new notes per month, caps each individual note at 25 megabytes, won't let you view them offline, and will only sync to two devices, although you can view them on the web from any PC you want. If you want offline viewing, unlimited device sync, 10 gigabytes of monthly uploads, and a 200 megabyte note limit, Evernote will charge you $7.99 a month or $70 a year. It's up to you how that's billed. While on paper, Evernote sounds super limiting, the free account is actually plenty for the primarily text-based notes that I usually take. The only thing I don't like is the two-device sync limit, but since I only need to sync with my phone, personal laptop, and work laptop, I can get around that by just using Evernote's excellent web app on my work laptop. From an organizational standpoint, OneNote lets you create notebooks, sections in those notebooks, and finally, the notes themselves. It also lets you color code each section, which I absolutely love since it makes finding what I need quick and effortless. Evernote has more granularity in that you can create notebooks and notes, but you get to choose whether you create stacks of notebooks or not. This way you can choose how much organization you want based on how complex the subject is, and I do prefer this approach. Unfortunately though, there is no color coding. But Evernote makes up for that lack of color somewhat with its tagging system. You can tag any note with any number of custom tags you can possibly dream up. And once that's done, you can search your notes by tag. OneNote also lets you tag notes, but only from a customizable predefined list of tags, and it only applies to selected text. It's kind of odd how it handles this in my opinion, and I really think Evernote does it better. Now, I haven't needed stylus support since I sold my Surface Pro last year, but if you're a heavy pen user, it's worth noting that OneNote is far better optimized for digital inking. It has the ability to draw right on any page, next to or even over type text or inserted images, and while you can create specific ink notes in Evernote, if you've got a stylus, there really is no comparison. OneNote is far and away the better option. Both services allow you to create a shareable link to a note and adjust read-write permissions, but the more advanced collaboration features offered by each I can't really comment on since I've never personally used them. From a privacy standpoint, Evernote lets you password protect parts of notes by highlighting them, and it stores all of your data, for better or for worse, on the Google Cloud platform. This does mean that all of your notes are protected using Google's server side, data at rest AES-256 encryption, but the encryption keys are managed by Google, so make of that what you will. OneNote stores your notes in OneDrive in clear text unless you choose to password protect a section, where it will then use AES-256 in CBC mode and the SHA-512 algorithm for all of its hashing operations. Now at this point, you're probably wondering why I switched, since looking at the two on a piece of paper, OneNote seems like the better option. And that reason is simply syncing. Evernote's syncing is predictable and reliable. Two things I cannot say about OneNote. 
About two years ago, I actually lost all of my OneNote notes permanently due to a syncing issue. A blank notebook somehow got synced over my main notebook, and despite hours of Googling and a call to Microsoft support, there was nothing that could be done. OneNote is also awful at resolving sync conflicts. And unfortunately, I'm not the only one this has happened to either. Both a colleague and a friend of mine have also lost their notes, and a quick Google search reveals that we're not alone. And while some have been fortunate enough to recover their notes, others, like me, haven't. I can't say you'll never have a problem with Evernote, but in the few months I've been using it, I've only ever had one sync conflict that was very quick and easy to resolve with the push of a button, and the synchronization has been much faster and more reliable than OneNote ever has been for me. Both services are similar enough that unless you need the more capable inking features or Office 365 integration of OneNote, the more reliable syncing is reason enough for me to choose Evernote. Most people get hung up on the limitations of Evernote's free account, not realizing that unless you take the most insane amount of notes possible, or are attaching large pictures or files to your notes, it's really not too big of a deal. So which do you guys use? Let me know in the comments section down below, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit like, get subscribed, and ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.